uh, I began working in Head Start 1969. I was hired in as a teacher assistant and about a month later I was promoted to teacher. At the time I was hired, you didn't have to have a high school diploma. I taught up until I retired. I am a Head Start graduate from Van Cleve. Before I graduated from high school, when we would have off days, I would go with my mom to volunteer in her classroom. So when I would come to her class to volunteer, you know, I kind of thought, mm, maybe this is something I wanted to do. So because I have volunteered so much, uh, Head Start offered me a position. I was motivated to go a little further because as a child I always wanted to be a teacher. But after dropping out of school, I was in the 10th grade, I wanted to go back. So I did that and Head Start motivated me. Uh, got my uh, GED. I, I wasn't satisfied. I wanted to go higher and Head Start made it possible for me to do this. After getting my CDA, I went, uh, it's when we enrolled in JC, and I got my AA degree. If it wasn't for Head Start, I don't think I would have went back to school. If it wasn't for them, you know, requiring that the teachers, you know, needed schooling and, and that such a thing, I wouldn't have gone back because before I came to Head Start, I was working at a factory and I was content with that. So, me and my mom both enrolled in Mississippi Gulf Coast Community College to receive our AA degree. I had more hours than she had. I was gonna graduate before her, but in order for us to graduate it together, I slowed down for her to catch up with me so we can graduate together. 2013 I graduated with my bachelor's degree. We was we were blessed that that Mother's Day we graduated uh -huh. in May. Yeah. And, and that Mother's Day weekend. And we both graduated with honors. She graduated with special honors. One of my gifts working with children. And it wasn't hard because that was my passion. And you know, when you love something and you want to excel at what you're doing, I had a passion. As a child, I wanted to be a teacher. It's, the saying is true, the apple didn't fall too far from the tree because my passion is children also. You know, and, and it just, it gives me great joy to see when children are having so much fun as they learn. My oldest son that graduated from Head Start, right now he's in the military, he's in the Army and he's stationed in El Paso, he's married. My second son that attend, he is, he graduated from Goshe High School, he's right now employed at Ingalls, he's a um, reprographic technician, is what he is. And then my third son, he's a 10th grader at Goshe High School. His plans are to uh, graduate and then go into the military. He wants to follow the footsteps of his older brother. I remember when I was in Head Start, it, it was basically all about play. You know, you go, you play, we worked on social skills, you know, we worked on some physical skills. But now, it's all about school readiness. You know, children have to be ready for kindergarten when they leave Head Start. And that's what we focus on. You know, we make sure those children are able to cut. They know how to identify their alphabet. Their social skills are where they need to be. They know how to follow directions. That's what we are working on now. And that's the difference from when I was in school. You know, they taught that stuff in school, you know, but they didn't, didn't you know, hone in on it like we do now. 